and we'll start with the interview, okay? Okay. Thank you. Just just so that we can make sure we have your name correct. You are Dwayne Grigsby, correct? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Thank you so much. Appreciate okay, we you. are ready. to tell us more about this situation, we have Dwayne Grigsby, owner of l and just owner of l and Distribution via Skype right this minute. Welcome to the show, Dwayne. Hey, how are you? Now tell us about some of the fallout from this video. You shot this video, you posted it on YouTube. What's the fallout been? That's, that is correct, young lady. We are, we're not just a demo company, but we're asset managers and we're, all, we we're also just sent out there actually to check the property. Uh, as well as that, we record all of our jobs to cover cover ourselves. So we post them on YouTube, of course, not just to advertise the, pro the property, but not just that, just to cover ourselves. And just coming into, going into uh, Ross Township, shout out to Ross Township, you're going to come into a, an area like that that some people don't agree too much with my color. And I, I respect that. But... Everybody else did. Now, have you been receiving threats? How have people reacted to this story, to this video? Well, you know, they they've had they've called me nigger. I'm sure y'all probably beat that, but they called me nigger. They said they're gonna you know kill my kill my family, kill my wife, you know. And I mean, they don't even know the whole story. They're just going by what they see. They're going by what they see, guys. Not, not watching the rest of the videos and the procedure, no one actually caught, nobody actually caught that, that ear of him saying, I didn't know he was going to do that. Did anybody else hear him say, I didn't know if they was, I didn't know if they was going to do that. Guys, who was the they? The they was his family putting his hands on me, on my guys. And they was taking items out of my guy's hand. What are you going to do? If, some, if you guys are at work and somebody snatch a mic out your hand, young lady, what are you going to do? So you're saying that Clinton's family, they actually physically touched your guys, physically took things from your hands? Correct. Not my hands. My guy's hands. I mean, mainly I was dealing with Ross, you know, the Ross Township Police and making sure all, all them items got cleared, cleared up. But in the midst of all that, their family, which I understand. Shout out to the Clemens. I love you guys. And I, I respect that. This is their family. This, you know, Dan, Danny was his, was his, was their family. So I understand some black guy coming down in the middle of nowhere, taking this man's stuff away. I understand that. So if that was my brother, yes, I would have went nuts. I would have been grabbing things too. But the only problem is, and you know, Danny, you, we both know this. It was a court order. You didn't tell your brothers that, you know, Ross Township, you know, gave you a court order to clean the lot. Not National Asset Advisors. Shout out to National Asset Advisors. I'm about to go ahead and cover y'all. Go and cover y'all ass. Go ahead and beat me on that. I'm about to cover y'all ass too. Okay. Okay. So he he had a deed that said he owned the property yes, and. You had a foreclosure notice? Not no, notice? no, no, no. See, see, that's where everyone has, that's where all the mix-up is. Man, I'm so, I appreciate you guys calling me and contacting me. I'm not the bad guy on the video. It just comes with the work, okay? Real quick, shout out to Clark County, Springfield, Ohio. All right, we do this all across the country. All right, this is not just one thing that we, one little Ross Township thing that we do. We are, this was a court order. He was ordered by Ross Township to clean that lot over a course of, since February 28th. They called our client, which Mr. Clemens, right or wrong, Mr. Clemens, you owned 2310 Robin. You were renting 23 Robin from National Asset Advisors, sir. You were removed. You, you were foreclosed and put out, sir. Your items were removed and brought over to the lot next door. Which, yes, sir. Whose fault? Yes, 
Do you, whose fault do you think this is? Who do you blame over this scenario? Oh, Ross Township. You know why? Y'all want to know why, guys? Hey, hey guys. Hi, Mom. Do y'all want to know why? I'm about to slam dunk y'all on this one. Do y'all know why? Y'all ready? Again, it was court order. That paper that, I, that, that Child 19 um, put on the air. Oh, yeah, by the way, kiss my ass, Child 19, because that paper that you guys seen was called a notice to proceed by code enforcement. Code enforcement is pretty much a house police. They police you just like if you run a red light as a police officer. So you get a violation. And the same thing happened to Mr. Clemens. He kept getting violation after violation after violation. Shout out to Rob Bass. I'm clearing your ass too. You just did your job, baby. So me and this gentleman, Rob Bass, the head, head of code enforcement, faxed me over April 1st, something like this. Hey, guys. I'm not going to be losing any work thanks to y'all haters because this, this, excuse me, I'm not cussing, I'm good. This is another notice to proceed for four more properties doing the same thing. So y'all going to meet me at the other four? Same thing. This is a court order. Just like Mr. Rod Bass showed where they thrown in that, in that film, go to notchangtnews.com and watch that video and they throw that form on the desk. That allows me to do whatever the hell I want on that on that property. Actually, Mr. Clemens, tell them that if you get interviewed, make sure you tell them, sir, that I really didn't have to give you anything. You were really allowed on that lot because if you remember, you could have been arrested. I could have got everybody arrested. But this was a clerical error, right? This is the it, wrong. No, plan. no, no. See, there you go again. Everybody, again, you guys gotta listen. You guys are just proceeding. That lot had to be cleaned regardless. It was a court order. What made the mistake is the county of Ross County contacted National Asset Advisors, my client. They called me and said, Dwayne, go out, just like a regular day, you know, go out and survey, which started on the 28th. I have emails to back it up, which 19, you guys knew. I gave you every single email, every single tape. By the way, guys, anybody that wants to tape, I got to tape. So if anybody out there in, in, in TV land is deciding to kill me, I have a tape turned into Ross County that's going to show the whole thing. And everyone says, is this a race thing? Yes, it was a race thing, and I respect that. I was the only black man in that area. That's fine. But I didn't go there to do no trouble, guys. I just go, went down there to, to do an order. So now it looks like I'm beating up a decrepit man. But, but the mistake is... Ross County, I mean, you know, typos happen all the time. And that's okay. So, why crucify me over Mr. Clemens having his, having that yard cleaned up? By the way, we're also doing a charity event with I Love to Hate l, &L Distribution t-shirts doing donations so we can keep that damn lot cleaned up. As well as Ross County. Shout out to Ross County. We love you. Because it wasn't their fault. It wasn't their fault. Things had to be done. It had to be done regardless. So contact Bob, um, Rob Bass. He'll tell you the same thing. It was a court order. And I'm going to do this any other state or city. It's, it's a job. Okay? That is correct. Yeah, I heard you back there. Yes, sir. I was ordered, court ordered, sir. I'll just help you out. <laughs> so, so are you saying that you were ordered to clean this property up because it was an eyesore? Because there was yes. So on the property? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And that was also ordered by Ross Township Council. See, in these small counties and these small cities near, near in Ohio, they have councils, and they meet up from the you know, from the communities and complaints. What do you think code enforcement gets complaints? Anybody? Can anybody want to raise their hand? What, does anybody know what code enforcement is? I know what code enforcement is. So what you're saying is that they basically wanted the lot cleaned up, so you were charged with cleaning it up regardless of who owned it. Pretty much. Yes, ma'am. So my question for you then is, you uh, you said you've done this a lot. This is part of the job, but mm -hmm. your voice is clearly raised with this guy. Why were, why would, why were, you, why were you so angry with him while he was being called? You, you a sellout. 
because you ain't listening. You a sellout. I don't even want listen. I don't want to talk to her because you a sellout. I thought you was gonna come clean and help me out. Listen, ma'am, what's going on? You guys heard me. You ain't you ain't listening. Okay, this was a court order by code enforcement, regardless of the fact it had to be done. And I mean, it's not really being defensive or anything, but the job is job. You're not going to twist anything up either. Okay, whether I'm black or white, I did my job. And that job was court order, like I'm about to do tomorrow, which I'm going to put on YouTube, these four addresses the same way. So if somebody's family want to come down and want to talk crap, then I got this. And guess what? They're going to go to jail. It's called a right to proceed. This is the exact same document. Shout out to Clark County. Y'all know y'all work. Ain't this y'all work, baby? That's y'all work. Exact same thing I'm about to do in Clark County. I did in, Ro in Ross Township. What's the difference? Whether you, can't, you can't expect the question not to come up. That's fine. By, by such a rough confrontation. Whether you were right or not, people are going to question mm -hmm. the, the way it was handled. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But if you guys rewind back this tape, again, he's, you're going to hear Dwayne say they put their hands on our guys first. Go back to the tape on YouTube. Everybody in TV land, go on YouTube and listen. Listen. And quit trying to twist me up, sellout. Listen. And you'll hear him say, I didn't know he was going to do that. Who is the he? The he is the brother, the family. They came out. I understand that, but they was also taking items out of my guy's hand. Now, do I got to bring the other guys that was on the site that, on, on the interview? Because this is just a regular day for l and They were trained to do that. You put your hands on me or you put your hands on my guys, what's going to happen? Again, sell out. What would you do? If somebody snatched something out your hand, what you going to do? I can't believe. I am so dis. Man, I am so, man, I am so disappointed. Seriously, the question is, why were you so angry and he was not? Well, why would you be angry if you're getting a lot clean for free? You got it clean for free. I wouldn't trip either. Would you trip if you was getting a free $5,000 lot clean for free? I mean, for real. And then plus giving the hassle? Now that you now that you've heard and seen a lot of the reaction that people across the country are having to your video. Yes, ma'am.